Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Today, you find me on a cold, wet, windy, rubbish, terrible day in England. So pretty much nothing has changed, but that's okay. I've got some bags to show you and I never really do any bag reviews. It's just not my forte. I do like bags. I do use bags, but uh, yeah, I never really cover anything. But today, I've got two tote bags from the French brand Bleu de Chouf. You may have seen this around before. You may have heard of them. They are a really, really cool sustainable brand coming out of France. So let's get right into it. Right, so first and foremost, let's get the uh, stigma out of the way, the elephant in the room about tote bags for men. I think, personally, I think that in this industry, in this day and age, people seem to think that a man with a tote bag is a bit wrong, a bit feminine, uh, and just doesn't sit right. I've got friends in Australia that whenever they see a picture of me with a tote bag have said, nice handbag. Uh, but you know what, we're in this day and age uh, where anything goes, express yourself, be yourself. And if it works, if it's functional, I say absolutely go for it. And that's the reason why I use tote bags quite a lot. Usually they're like the linen or the canvas ones. Sometimes you get them at shops, you get them when you buy a pair of jeans, etc. Uh, but a nice, good quality tote bag can go a long way. And that is for, for many reasons. One, it's saving your clothes. So the clothes that we wear are expensive. If you wear a backpack all day, every day, you will find you'll get uh, rubbing on the back of your shirts and your uh, your jeans, and especially on really nice t-shirts and uh, coats, you'll find all those little, uh, you know, those little bits of balls building up on the back and it just wears through. I've got that on a lot of my items, so I don't want that happening. So a tote bag is good, one, over your shoulder, two, holding it down below. Now in this day and age, you can't even go into a supermarket and get a free plastic bag. You have to pay for plastic bags, so there's a lot of encouraging going on to take your reusable bags and for many years I've been using my own tote bags ones that I've either got from buying a jean purchase or going to a premium store when I'm on holiday uh, they're usually canvas or uh, linen for instance but I've always wanted a premium one that spent a bit of money on that's going to last me a long time now I'm very particular about uh, the kind of tote bags I like I like very plain and that was gonna you know go against one of the ones that I've got here I like a very plain tote bag and one that can age with you as well and that's when uh, I started looking and Blur de Schrift came up and you may, may see them on Instagram quite a lot and YouTube there's a lot of people with their their bags floating around so I reached out to them they sent me across two tote bags to check out and that's what we're gonna do right now so the two bags that we have are the Bazaar tote this is kind of their flagship one there's probably one you've seen most on Instagram on YouTube it's kind of a medium sized tote bag and it's as it says a bazaar tote so it's like a tote bag that you can take to the shops to the market to fit all of your stuff in it's made from stonewash uh, cotton canvas so it is this is the black color and you'll see it's very kind of kind of worn it's got some vegetable tan leather accents as well so the handles are vegetable tan leather the amazing thing i love about this tote bag and what annoys me about normal you know cheaper tote bags is the strap length a lot of, uh, for instance, women like to have shorter straps uh, that you can just hold uh, down by your side. But I have really long arms compared to some women. So by the, a lot of the tote bags that you can pick up, I am holding and the bottoms are scraping the, the floor. So I need uh, like adjustable. So it's a two edge, it's a double edged sword there because I, I like it not to scrape the, the, the floor, but also I do <laughs> like to be able to put it over my arms when it's a bit longer uh, So I need adjustable and this is the only one of the premium ones that I've seen that has an adjustable strap on both sides The accents are absolutely beautiful in terms of the detailing uh, of the leather Now the one thing I do like about Blur de Chouf is their attention to detail I mean that logo has been designed by a special uh, designer and this this uh, this label is just amazing it's such a vintage inspired and when we're talking vintage inspired this stone washed canvas is what they call jeep canvas so it was uh, really famous for jeep collectors you know the world war ii jeeps uh, they would use this canvas i don't know what for but this is they call it jeep canvas anyway now that brings me to the company now bleu de chouf based out of france uh very highly into sustainability now when i talk about sustainability there's lots of things you can talk about but bleu de chouf like to make items that will last you a long time for one for two everything about these bags is made in france everything from the stitching from the leather from the 
from the stonewashed canvas, everything is put together in France. And it's all done by hand. And that is why when you get it, you've got a signature of the person who put it together and the date that they put it together as well. It also comes with a, another bag just to sort of transport it in if you want. I mean, all the premium stuff comes with this and it is made to fit a 17 inch laptop. So it's kind of like a perfect commuter bag as well if you wanted to take this to work. Next up is their Zinnia Tote. Now this is, as you'll see, <clears throat> It's bigger. It is a, it's a coated cotton canvas. Now, when I say coated, it doesn't say on the website wax, but I'm pretty sure it's a light wax coating because it, it has that kind of look. It's a bag that's gonna age with you. And when I looked at this, I thought this would be the perfect bag, but I didn't realize how big it is. Now this is 35 liters. 35 liters, that's what you get in a backpack, you know, when you buy a small backpack. So it is vast when it turns up. It's a, it's a big, big bag. It's more of a commuter bag in terms of if you wanted to take your gym gear and that kind of stuff to work or your laptop and, and some more items as well. It's very basic in the fact that it's just one massive holdall. It has that internal pocket like the other one has that has someone's signature on it uh, and the internal zip as well. You can close this off with these snap fasteners that are really solid as you can hear. Everything is really solidly built. There's a lot of detail that's gone into this uh, bag. A same vegetable tan leather that will get nice and supple as you use it. It's, it's a real premium product. It, you can feel how uh, stiff this, this uh, leather is. That'll soften up with you and age with you as will the bag. It's got a nice leather bottom on it as well. So to stop those scrapings along the bottom. And you know what? There's nothing much else to it, but you can fit a lot in this bag. It does have, and so does the uh, Bazaar Tote, uh, ability to uh, clip on a shoulder strap as well. Right, so if I have to weigh them up and which one would I take, I think me being me, I like non-branded stuff. So I personally like the Zinnia Tote. Uh, it is bigger and I may find it a bit too big for my daily going to the shops, so on and so forth. I'll be going to the shops looking like I'm going on a weekend away but it does fit over the shoulder if i adjusted the straps perfectly uh pr properly i quite like doing this uh, and walking like that again a lot of you guys will think that's very feminine but you know it goes with it, it depends what you're wearing as well i can't be just wearing track pants and having this premium tote bag over my shoulder won't work if you're just going around town want to fit your laptop in get a few things on the way home this is your tote bag it comes in various different colors as does the zinnia as well uh yeah, I'm interested to see how these age over time. I'm not gonna use these every single day, so they may take time to age, but my fiance, she is probably gonna take one of these as well, and we'll see how we go. You know what, guys? I'd love to get your thoughts on the tote bags, especially tote bags like this for men. Uh, you know, I know it's a contentious topic, and there's probably a good percentage of you out there that think this doesn't go for someone like me. Uh, but yeah, really would love to hear what you guys think. Has anyone got other brands uh, like Blur de Chouf that uh, they would like to send my way? Do it, drop it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up. I love interacting with you guys. And again, if you haven't subscribed, I'm doing this Project 10,000, trying to get 10,000 subscribers this year. So I really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button. With all that being said, have a great day, guys. See you in the next one.